In our previous videos we received a lot of comments to make a video about the UFO talks that is happening in Congress. We gathered some information from different news networks and this is the video. On July 23, 2023, the US Congress holds the hearing and it was considered a public hearing. In this hearing, different types of people could speak to Congress and tell the Biden administration to talk about the UFOs and aliens they have information of. An unidentified flying object is considered a UFO, but they also call it a UAP, which stands for Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. And just like we said, the UFO is an unidentified flying object. These two are considered the same thing, but in Congress, they didn't use UFO, they used UAP. The interesting part about this hearing was that three of the gentlemen that spoke in this, all three of them worked in the government, and they weren't no normal Joe either. One of those is Ryan Graves, a former fighter jet pilot that has seen a UFO with his own eyes. We have another fighter jet pilot named David Fravor. And you've probably seen this video, but in 2004, David Fravor shot this video of a flying object that he could not identify. This was taken in 2004, but 15 years later, the Pentagon decided to release it and say, we have seen flying objects that we have not recognized before. And this is the footage of that. And last but not least, the most important guy that spoke was named David Grush. And he was a former intelligence officer for the US government. Grush has been speaking about aliens and UFOs since last year. And he's considered a whistleblower. Grush says he has not seen an alien or a UFO with his own eyes up close. But he has spoken with a lot of his colleagues about it and they all approve it and say the same thing. When they're speaking about aliens and such, one of the representatives named Miss Mace asked Grush, so you're saying that the US government has found crash UFOs before? And were there dead bodies in these objects? Grush nods and says yes. Nancy Mace asks, does the US government still have these bodies? Grush continues and says they for sure have it, and this is nothing new. The US government has been in contact with these things since the 1930s and they have dead bodies of non-humans in their laboratories. After Nancy Mace and other representatives asked Grush, does the US government have these UFOs? Grush says yes and not only does he say they have it, but they've had it since the 1930s and they're always trying to reverse engineer it. Grush continues and says he's been in contact with a lot of people in this facility and more than 40 of them have accepted that they have worked and seen such things. Another representative by the name of Garcia asked Grush where are the UFOs located? Grush says I know exactly where they are but it's better if we don't say it. I know the exact locations and those locations were provided. But we should all say a lot of conspiracy theorists like to say that they keep them in Area 51 but who knows. David Grush says the US government even has a program for this. It's called the UAP Reverse Engineering Program. And just like we said, UAP is just another word for UFO. When it was the representative Burleson's turn to ask Grush some questions, he tells Grush to continue his story. What did you see? What do you know more about these crafts and aliens? Grush says he knows a lot of people that have worked with the creatures and the UFO. And some of these employees were hurt because of working with them. Burleson asks, are you saying that aliens have hurt humans before? Grush nods and says yes. Another representative starts asking questions by the name of Burchette. He says, are you saying the US government is hiding all this information for all these years? And Grush says yes, they have. Burchett asks, do you know anybody that was murdered because of giving out these information? 
Grush says that he doesn't know anybody that was killed, but after whistleblowing a year ago, he has been terrified. The questions and answers we just told you about were the questions that Grush actually answered. There were plenty of other questions that he denied and said he could not answer that right now. And he also says if we have a private meeting with the representative, he can give more information because he doesn't want to expose everything to the public of the world. The two retired pilots are also listening to Mr. Grush. The things Fravor and Graves were saying was accepted many years ago and it was nothing new. But what Grush was saying was extremely new and that is why it was very interesting. Grush says he knows more than 40 people that work with these creatures and that is why between these three men, Mr. Grush's words were the ones that made this go viral. Anything he said was fresh and it was great for media. Maybe if he was a normal Joe, nobody would believe it. But since he's an intelligence officer and he worked in government, people kind of take his word for it. When all this question and answer is going on, more conspiracy theories are made on the spot. And these theories are unlike the ones before. A lot of people say since the US government is now talking about the existence of aliens and UFOs, that means it's all fake then. Since back in the day they weren't talking about it, they would say they're hiding it from us. But now that they're talking about it in Congress, then it's all fake. And that is why people have been skeptical about all of this. You guys already know Bob Lazar. He worked in Area 51 and he has been talking about the same stories you just heard since the 1980s. But back then they called him crazy, a conspiracy theorist, a lunatic and basically ruined his name even though he was an engineer in Area 51. But people didn't really listen to Bob Lazar but now that Grush is speaking inside the congress about the same things and two pilots are co-signing, the news networks don't call them a conspiracy theorist or a lunatic. And that is the exact reason there's new conspiracy theories about aliens now. One of the most famous ones is that all these UFOs and aliens is just the government. This is something that you guys have to comment about. Let us know what you think about all this going on and why they're talking about it now. There might be a chance that you guys have seen a UFO on the sky up close before and we've made a video on it that was happening in Iran that went worldwide in the 1970s. If you would like to see it, we have uploaded the video before. If you have more information about this or have seen a UFO up close, please leave a comment.